Hello and welcome back. It's been a while, but I'm here with another Python in Excel video. This one should hopefully be kind of short. I've got a power query on the left of the screen here. This is pulling data directly from Wikipedia. It's population data by country, continent, and statistical subregion by population dates in 22 and 23 in July. What I want to do is produce a cross tab and then a funnel chart showing population change percentage. And I want to do that in Python in Excel. So this is my Power Query output. I've actually written the code already. You can see here, this is the data table when it's been transformed. And here's the code. So let's just walk through it very, very quickly. First of all, let's pull the Power Query output into the Pandas data frame. Remember with the Excel method, we can just refer directly to a table name in Excel headers equals true so that we bring in the proper headers. We then group by UN statistical subregion and population date and sum the population. That gives us a nice uh, compact table, gets rid of country. We then use the pivot, uh, data frame dot pivot from pandas to pivot on population date, which puts the populations, uh, the separate populations from the different years in different columns and make sure that the column axis is uh, a string rather than a date. Because when we transform and pivot the population date column, it will retain the data type of uh, the column that is pivoted. And so these will be a date time, but I don't want them to be a date time. I want them to be a string. So I convert them into a string using this line here. Next, add a change column. This isn't strictly necessary, but might be interesting. And that's just subtracting one from the other. And next, add a percentage change column, which is just a simple math of dividing the change column by the population in 2022 in July. And this is the result. So this is gives us the data for the chart. I'm going to plot this, this column. This shows the percentage change by statistical subregion. In this line, in this cell, I should say, uh, I've got some more code, which is creating the chart. First of all, sort by uh, descending percentage change and then some Seaborn code to create the chart, add a title, X label, Y label, and plot.show. Now, the thing that makes today's video slightly different is that there is a new option in the context menu of this cell. Previously, there were several steps to get this to show as an image. So I would have to choose select value, and then you see a tiny little image there, and I would need to right click on there, picture in cell, and then choose one of these. But we don't need to do that anymore because now, let's put it back to Python object, because now we have display plot over cells. And that will do it in one click and it will place it over the cell where the data, where the image has been produced by Python. And if you can see, if you click it here, it's referring to that cell. So that's all it is. It's a reference to the Python image. Let's just delete that. There is of course a keyboard shortcut. Why wouldn't there be? I believe it is control alt shift and C and that creates it. So that's the new feature. It is for quickly converting your Python images into plots that are visible on the spreadsheet. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.